Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20 if you're having a BMW X3 or X4 guys. And if you have plain the steering wheel, stay with us, we'll explain where that can uh, happen, how it can happen and how to fix it guys. In most cases it's not very complicated, but you need to fix it because it's super dangerous to drive with a plane in the steering wheel. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys, including this generation BMW. Why we do that simply due to the fact that our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy guys any parts, tools for your BMW, anything for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money. So let's explain what we have specifically here now. Okay, I want to show you something. Okay, if I come on this side, the car is in the air guys. Okay. Listen now, I'll grab the tire and I'll try to wiggle it left and right. There is no play, there is no noises. What happens if I come on the right side? Let me show you now. On the, on the driver's side, excuse me, this is the left side. So, right now, if I come here, listen now. I feel play and noise. And if I turn the steering wheel, okay, listen now. What's going to happen? I'm going to try to move my microphone to where, okay, you can hear a little bit. So that, guys, is a play in the steering wheel. You can feel it. The car will be, when you're coasting down the highway, you kind of like will be fighting it to keep it in the lane because you have play in that steering wheel, which can make it super dangerous. What to look for now, guys? Okay. if. Okay, one second, let me open the hood quick. If only one tire, guys, okay, one tire uh, makes the noise, most likely you have bad tire out. If when you grab both tires you have noise, it's very likely that the steering wheel right there, that's the flex joint for the steering wheel that goes to the uh, rack and pinion, okay, that developed the play right there. So if both tires have play, it's very likely that it's there, guys. Okay, that's the flex joint. Now, just barely move the steering wheel where we have the play and if the bottom of the shaft doesn't move, okay, but the top does, you have play there. In our case, it's only one tire. And if we come, okay, let's go ahead and shake the tire now. Okay, let's shake the tire now. Okay, no, 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 to grab the tire here with two hands. Let's just grab it and you hear, guys. Our noise will be coming from the inner tie rod. Inner or outer, in our case, it will be the inner one. Okay. Okay, let me come close with the microphone. One second. Yep, quite a bit of noise, guys. So, that is bad tie rod. Now, let me explain what we have specifically here. Okay, this is, guys, the tie rods. This is the outer tie rod, right there. That's what it looks like. The inner tie rod connects to the outer tie rod and then connects to the rack and pinion. The play that we have is in that ball joint right here. Sometimes you can develop a play in the outer ball joint as well. So uh, if, that, if you remove the uh, tie rods and you don't have any play, it's likely that you have a bad rack and pinion too. But nine out, nine out of 10 times will be those. Then will be the steering flex joint and then will be the rack and pinion. Hopefully the video will be helpful. We'll have a video how to replace inner and outer tie rod on BMW X3 X4. Check it out. It will be on the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. 